All right, welcome back to the One Bar and Lopagus show. I'm One Bar with Lopagus, and uh, we're going to go over five, six, I don't know, somewhere around there, bold, bold draft predictions. So uh, bold, meaning like, don't give a shit if they don't happen, because they probably won't. Yeah, I mean, you got to do bold predictions. If you guys remember, Nostra Lopagus was found last night. He gave his 10 bold predictions. So check out that video. You got to remember to see that. So, uh, yeah, it's draft day, Eve, draft day. I'm not sure when the hell this is going to be aired, but we're just hours away from the NFL draft. So we don't know. Five, six. We can't count right now. Our minds are a mess. Yeah, I got uh, I, I got three. I got three. We want to see your bold predictions below. And bold. Pull out those balls. Oh. What do you got? What's your first bold prediction? Uh, I'm going to go with this one. The Vikings, they got some pretty big needs that uh, we've been talking about here for months. I'm going to say one of those they don't even address in this draft. Wow. Wow. I guess if uh, I guess if they were to leave one butt naked, I would hope it would be. So it's quarterback, offensive line, and defensive line. I guess I'd have to go interior offensive line would be my hope. And I hope it doesn't happen. <laughs> you said interior offensive line? If I had to pick one that they didn't yeah. address, I would go interior offensive line. But uh, that is bold. That is bold. I am going to go bold, and I am going to say that the Vikings at pick 108, Devondre Sweat will be there, and they're going to say, no thanks. No thank you. I know a lot of Vikings fans really want Devondre Sweat at uh, at 108, um, but I just... You know, I, I, again, it'd be surprised if they didn't, but I think they might just be thinking like, you know, McKinley Jackson's, uh, that big boy from Northern Iowa, uh, Auburn's got that. I mean, there's a lot of guys there, Dwayne Carter guys, defensive line that maybe just don't, uh, don't have so many question marks around them. Maybe played a little bit safe. And I think this happens, happens almost every year where there's a player we like not expecting to be there. He's there. What the Vikings do, they trade out most times. They fucking trade. And we've seen it happen over and over again. Pull, you know, makes us pull our hair out, pull our pubes out. And yeah, it could definitely happen with Devondre Sweat. I could see it happening. I'd be mad, I'd be upset. I, but I don't even it think it's happen. really that bold. Like I think they will pass on them for with both their fourth round picks. It's gonna be very interesting to see where Sweat goes. But I put it on there because we all love Tavondre Sweat. Yeah, I think it's safe to say all Vikings fans love Tavondre Sweat. Uh, I'm gonna go with another one here. I'm gonna say Vikings use three. Three draft picks, three draft picks at the same position. Same position. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I would love for that to happen. Mostly yeah, I mean, it's, defensive line. Well, this might not be bold either because it could happen on the O-line. It could happen on the D-line. Hell, I mean, the way the draft goes, maybe you get three wide receivers. I don't know. Sometimes you got to take the best players who fall to you in the receiver classes deep. All right, my next bold prediction is the Vikings stay at 11, stay at 11, and still get J.J. McCarthy. Wow. JJ McCarthy coming home at pick 11, and all we're all just gonna be blown away. I'm like, holy shit, this is an A. Plus. We didn't have to trade up. We got him. He's we here. Got we still got pick 23. Everybody's going ape shit. And uh, yeah, I mean, I could totally see a quarterback falling out of the top 10. And I guess if I had to guess and be bold, it would be JJ McCarthy. Well, and then you know, Vikings have to have the balls to hang on there and wait that game out. I mean, and you also probably have to like Michael Penix a shit ton or Bo Nix. Uh, so you have a backup plan if you are going to sit there and wait. But I was just talking to uh, my boy today, and he said, you know, I, I haven't even thought about pick 23 because I'm just assuming we're going to trade up. And I think we've all kind of been in that same mindset. Like, I haven't really, really thought seriously about actually drafting somebody at 23. Who's your boy? Who's your inside source? My son. Oh, your boy. All we're right. talking in the truck boy. today. All right. Uh, my offspring. Yeah. Your offspring. Yes. Yes. But, I mean, it's just the mindset. We've been so focused on the trade-up that we didn't really thought, really, I mean, given enough attention at 23. Uh, my last one is this. The Vikings are going to either draft two sets of teammates, that's four players, two teammates on each of those, or draft three players from the same team. Well, they, they're not shy of drafting players from the same team. That's for damn sure. Uh, yeah, I could see that happening. Uh, my last one is the Vikings will draft a specialist. They're going to spend a draft pick on a specialist, whether that's a punter, whether that's some random ass kicker. Uh, but they're they're going to do it. That's my bold prediction. They're going to they're going to sure. most most likely if they were to do it, it'd be a kicker. Uh, but punter, I don't think so. Uh, not off the table. They they like that Jake Walrath character. Uh, yeah, I mean, it sounds like a bad guy from a movie. Yeah, like a GI Joe movie. Um, 
but yeah, I, I, I think it's possible. I mean, you can look at the kicker position and John Parker Romo needs some competition to bring in. And it seems like the Vikings were not very happy with Ryan Wright's performance last year. So it wouldn't be shocking. All right, those are our bold predictions. Let us know your bold predictions down in the comments. And happy draft day, Eve, or happy draft day, regardless of when you're watching this. Absolutely. And remember this, guys. During mating, the male lobster transfers sperm to the female using specialized appendages called gonopods. Oh, God. I haven't seen a gonopod.